Ibu. Mm-hmm. 
ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆられ。ん。ゆ
Connected. Insufficient permissions. You were moved. Microphone muted. too soft or if I'm both somehow. See how much better it is when I don't talk? bring it up on my computer and then I can talk on my laptop when it comes it's just a weird setup thing because I don't actually have a microphone for my computer which also means I have to turn the sound off on my um, computer so I can't actually hear how it's sounding because otherwise everything echoes and echoing isn't fun nobody likes echoing you know unless you're in a mountain and you're doing it on purpose but in this case nobody likes echoing Essentially, I've been, um, like, well, because I recently hit 
a thousand subscribers on YouTube for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with people. <laughs> but, um, so I am thankful that apparently they like my videos for some reason. Um, and I've had like 470 here. So I figured I'd be in a video where I would talk, except I keep screwing stuff up and I'm supposed to announce it ahead of time because it's kind of pointless not doing it now because nobody knows I'm doing it except you guys because you're here. But most people don't know I'm doing it. It's just the whole point is to thank people, I should technically announce it. But I'm really bad at picking a time to stream because I just do it randomly more often. And so I don't know what I should do. I mean, not, I don't know. See, yes, so maybe I'll announce it today for a stream tomorrow. I say maybe though, because I really don't know. I don't think anybody would believe you if you pretended to be me. But yet, there are three reasons I don't usually talk on my stream. It's rare that I ever will, so this is a rare exception of exceptionness. Um, reasons one are, well, I already gave reason one because of the whole setup that I have to do. It's not a big deal at 3DS games, uh, and actually most games I usually play games without sound. But um, for a while, there had been issues where the sound would randomly stop. And obviously, if I can't hear the sound, I can't hear if there's an issue. And, um, I don't usually have many people in here, so I don't always know if there's an issue. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to keep track of, because, you know, I can't hear anything except for the sounds off my computer and stuff. Reasons two are, um, I have really bad allergies and asthma, which most people can tell from my voice, but some people can't. But it always makes me sound like I have a cold, and it gets really tiring when people ask if I have a cold. And I swear if any of you ask if I have a cold, I am so, like, temporarily batting you for like two seconds, you jerks. But, um, uh, it's something that I get so often, it's really annoying. I mean, I, I guess it's nice for them to be concerned, but... I don't know, it makes me feel bad and self-conscious because nobody likes sounding all nasally and stuff. But yeah, I have to press buttons every time I want to talk. I don't have a headset, which is the other thing, and that's part of why there's echoing if I keep the sound on. And as you can see, I type a reflex. <laughs> Sometimes my sleeping gets all screwed up. <laughs> Number three is um, part because I don't have a headset, and like I said, that causes echoing. And I also um, I have a tendency to breathe through my mouth because of my asthma. So it's just there's just a bunch of reasons why I can't really um, just talk and stuff. Plus I'm shy, and I, I have trouble just talking. 
be going on. Like, there's all these people who like do these videos and they're like, here, look, watch me make funny jokes. Hi, subscribe, follow, woo! And I, I first of all, I'll never say that because I'll feel bad. I, I mean, if somebody wants to subscribe or follow, fine, whatever, but I'm, I don't like requesting people to make me feel bad. But even though like 90% of the people I've probably watched do that, um, I, I'm a very serious person, so I don't really make jokes. So, it's, I just probably won't ever actually make really funny, at least not intentionally. Oh, um, and I'm just really bad talking, like, either I talk really fast because I get really nervous, or I just start blabbering and stuff and rambling on nothing, and I sound like an idiot, or I just keep not knowing what to say. I am not doing that for every stream! <laughs> And yes, I'm from New York. Question is, can you guess where from New York? And yes, I'm poorly attempting to put the chat in, which always takes me a while. <laughs> works at Long Island. I don't know. Um, I mean, if, like I said, I was going to for my special subscriber -y thingy and then didn't. <laughs> but, um, I don't know if I necessarily would or not. I've lived in New York my whole life, but I like traveling. There, I think everything's set up okay, maybe. <laughs> and I can't help it if I'm bare, but they don't supply socks in Green Worlds. And I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Okay, I remember I want to take a picture of this room. Everything's fine now. But yes, if you if somehow you haven't noticed ninety percent of the time where I'm just standing still like an idiot in a room is because I'm taking a picture. Yeah, New York is expensive to live in. Um we can barely um afford to live in here. 
Um, like, I have money right now for groceries and day-to-day -day expenses, essentially, but that's only because I, um, live in a basement. <laughs> um, if, but we can't afford a house. At, like, I'd have to be earning a lot more money to afford somewhere to live at this point. Or move, and I don't know what I want to do just yet. Right now, most extra expenses are going to the wedding, and we're trying to save up for the, um, for the wedding deposit, so... Okay, in order, um, Belle, Aurora, and, um, Rapunzel are my favorite Disney princesses. Um, I can't really pick between them. I could possibly narrow it down to Belle and, um, Rapunzel, but that's really hard for me to go any further than that. Um, let's see. Most, um, I, most of the time I usually put money, at, um, in advance to plan for games, I also really narrow it down to just the games that I really, really, really want. Um, and I work for, like I said, right, because uh, we live right somewhere down here right now. I have enough, but, uh, and plus, um, it was pretty awful because, you know, I got the, um, Disney Magical World and Tomodachi Life for Nintendo, which was really nice, and I had a lot of fun writing about those. I'm still having fun writing about those, honestly. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I still bought a copy of Eats for um, my mom and my fiancé, so they still got money, but um, it was still really cool. And I highly doubt I'm going to stream the wedding. <laughs> I think the only way I've ever streamed my wedding on Twitch is if somebody went and, um, if somebody went and, if someone essentially went and paid for the entire wedding and requesting it be streamed on Twitch. And I don't, I'm actually really awful at Tetris, so. And I will be right back because my family's crazy and sometimes random things happen. But enjoy this lovely scenic painting. Well, it's not a f painting. This scenic view of my character playing and sitting in front of a fireplace while music. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed the music. As you can see, I don't remember what rooms I had already seen, so I'm just gonna go through all of them again. the um token fighters question so I'll answer that real quick so um start I actually like fighting games they're not necessarily my most favorite but I'm okay with them however I really don't care for token fighters as it stands right now Mostly because um, I don't care for most of the fighting Pokemon. Like, they're just not my favorites at all. If they throw in some other Pokemon that's not just literally fighting Pokemon a fighting game, I might be interested. But otherwise, Smash Brothers kind of already... Darn it! <laughs> Okay, so I have to run back upstairs in a second, because again, my family's crazy, <laughs> and yes, another scenic view. But to finish just what I was saying real quick, um, so I feel like I already have Smash Brothers, because I can play as Pikachu and Jigglypuff, which are some of my favorites, so it's just unlikely that I will ever care that much about it. <laughs> I mean, if there's other Pokemon, I might be interested. But until that happens, <laughs> I just don't really know what to think. Um, like I said, I do like fighting games, and depending on how it goes, I might still pick it up. But battling has always been actually my least favorite part of Pokemon. So a game where it's literally just two fight, like I just don't see the point, I guess. I mean, for some people, like Smash Brothers and you know other fighting games are a lot different. So I guess for them, it, they're really excited, but it really depends for me. And now I will be right back again, so enjoy all this gold. Lots and lots of gold. And actually, um, it's Smash Bros. Jigglypuff and Kirby are my two main characters. And now I'll run upstairs because otherwise I'm going to keep talking about random things.
Okay, I'm back. Here's your hi. Hi. <laughs> I plan to get Mudkip as my starter since that was my starter originally. But, um, more or less, since I've used Mudkip previously, I'm probably just going to use a completely new team. Which I actually have already planned out, but. <laughs> I told you I take things seriously. <laughs> now we're finally done with this house. Yay! Usually what I try and do is um, I'll use the same team I used in the same generation, so like it's still Gen 6, even though it's a remake of Gen 3. So I'd use um, my team that I used in X and Y. But um, I really, really like Mega Autonow and Mega um, Deontzi's design, so... Like, I, I really, really, really like them, and I just have to use them. And I don't like breaking up my team, so I just decided to actually go with a whole new team. So right now, it's most likely going to be um, Autonel, who I actually used this in black and white, but this is a different one, since, like I said, I don't like breaking parties up. But yeah, so it's Autonel, um, Deontzi, Altaria, Dragonair, and, um, darn it, I always forget one. <laughs> oh, and, um, the villain, or Vivian, whatever it is. I, I'm really bad at pronouncing Pokemon, so. I actually prefer, um, the normal Neon State colors versus the shiny colors. And well, you get it from an event, so a friend of mine actually gave me one of the event ones. And I believe the event is supposed to come over the party. But I'll probably keep the one my friend gave me. And I also plan for number six, since you might notice that's only five Pokemon. Even if the fifth one came a bit late in my naming. But um, I plan to use the cosplay Pikachu. I haven't decided which outfit yet. I can't decide between the pretty Victorian y blue one or the cute sparkly pink one. It's a very hard choice. I'm kind of leaning towards the sparkly pink one. <laughs> Lots of people do giveaways for them on like Tumblr and Twitter and stuff if you look around. And like I said, I'm sure they'll do an event for it eventually. I mean, there's three Pokemon that are in the Pokédex until they do the event for them, so... So at this rate, it doesn't look like we'll get them till after, um... Until after the remakes are out, which is really kind of annoying. 
I just don't like the Pokédex being complete and stuff, so it bothers me that we're gonna have to wait on the events for those. I actually usually use a Pikachu on my team. I think the only times I haven't were actually the two most recent games. One of which because you couldn't actually get a Pikachu in that game. So, but I almost always use a Pikachu. And so it wasn't too weird to go ahead and once again use a Pikachu. Because I really like Pikachu. I love using Jigglypuff Smash Brothers, and it's one of my favorites in that, and I've always liked it in the anime, too. Maybe you know it with staying in right markers on people's face. But, um, more, I have actually never used one in game before, which is really weird that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I ever will. There's just a lot of Pokemon I like that I can use in game more, but I still enjoy playing Jigglypuff and Smash Brothers. Zimmerill is adorable. I, I mean, I like a lot of Pokemon, so... <laughs> I really want to test if catching bugs and stuff in Dream World, well, well Dream Towns, count. Because apparently weed pulling actually counts if you pull them in dreams. But I don't really have anyone to test them. I don't really want to spend bells to send my other characters into Dream World to test it, mostly because I still have to see dreams on my main character for the badge. And it's a lot of bugs, even just for the first one. So, at the same time, I really want to know if then maybe I'd, you know, spend some time doing that, and I can actually knock out more badges faster, so I can work on m multiple ones at a time. I guess the same thing with Island Game, where I was, um, somebody would find out what... But I just kind of went island games and stuff, I wish somebody would find out if you could actually, yeah, pulling weeds and dreams count. Somebody tested it and it worked. Maybe I didn't get mine that way, but a bunch of people tested it and it does apparently work. But I don't know if catching bugs and fists works, or if island, catching them in island games works either. This makes me sad. Because I'd like to know, since I still need obviously about this badge. See, once that bell count is zero, I've seen enough dreams I should get my gold badge. And then we can celebrate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So it's really nice. I found that an easy way to not have to worry about weeds and stuff anymore since then I already have all the flowers set. Plus that means I don't have to dig up fossils anymore and all that other stuff. So I already have everything anyway. I actually have a huge list of towns I want to visit through the Dream Suite, but those will actually take me a lot longer, so that's why I tend to get really photo crazy and check everything. I mean, I'm doing these on what's not even on my list, it's still taking a while. But those are ones that I know will take a while, so I'm trying to just pick randomly, so maybe it'll go a little faster. And I won't spend 10 years in like one dream village and then wonder why I still don't have the statue. <laughs> You can at least wear socks if they're somewhere in the dream world, but no ones. I mean, I would even have a nicer outfit if it wasn't a design, so... You mean the Princess Peach game for the DS? The one with the emotions and stuff?
I played it briefly, but I don't know if I actually finished it, or if, or if I just stopped. I really can't remember. <laughs> it was so long ago, too. I don't recall caring too much for it, though. I thought it was okay, but... Talking with a mic is hard.
I've had two issues, well technically three issues with my 3DS, so two on one and one on the other. My first 3DS, the char um, charge port actually broke. The thing completely shattered, apparently, on the inside. We actually got it replaced, but it still didn't fix it. It just made I couldn't charge it at all, which was really, really annoying. So I had to get a new one, and that's when I got my... Um, when I got my capture card one, and then I had an issue with the touch screen, and I also had an issue when, um, with the SD card port, so that was annoying. But the person who installed the capture card actually fixed it, so that was nice. <laughs> I'm just happy both were able to be fixed quickly. Well, other than the first one, but let me get my capture card one so it's not terrible. Though I really liked my first one, I had it all custom y and stuff, and it was really pretty.
But yes, thank you guys for watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for now so I can make lunch and stuff and other fun things like my Mario Kart 8 DLC. <laughs> and so I guess just to end this, I'll go ahead and make a. Oh, yes, I do. So I'll, I'll link it in a second. But okay, so to end this. I'll just properly announce a special stream where I stream random games. Not really random games, pretty much the same games I'm always streaming. So I don't have that many games. But I'll stream games and talk during it as a thank you for all you guys who have followed me on Twitch and subscribed on YouTube. And I, I think I got both of those right. And I appreciate you guys watching and stuff. And so thank you and to special stream tomorrow, 12 p.m. EST. You can be there if you want to. Yes. See you guys.